today, we will create a sales and profit report, from an Excel file. We will create a line chart, showing profit by date. We will also show sales, by product and segment. And finally, we will show profits by country, on a map. To create this report, we need to import the data from Excel file. We are using the sample file, available at Microsoft Office website. The link to the file, is placed in the description below. On Get Data window, select Excel Workbook, and press Connect. Now select the Excel file, and press Open. On the Navigator window, select Financials, and press Transform Data. This will open data in the Query Editor. Now, select the Segment column, then select the Transform tab, and select the Format, to uppercase. Change the data type, of units sold, to whole numbers. Rename the month name column, to month. Filter the product column and uncheck the product Montana. Now, apply the changes, and close the query editor, using close and apply button. Let the Power BI load the selected tables for visualization. Now you have all the columns in the financials table available for visualization and reporting. Go to the Home tab, and create a new measure. Using the Data Analysis expression, create a Total Units Sold column. Total Units Sold, is the sum of units sold, in Financials table. Click the check mark, to apply the DAX expression. As you can see, the new measure named, Total Units Sold, has been added. Now, go to the Data View. There are three views, Data View, Report View, and the Model View. From the Home tab, create a new table. We will create, a table named Calendar, using DAX. We will provide two dates, and this table will contain all the dates, between those two dates.
first date will be 1st January 2013. Second date will be 31st December 2014. Click the check mark to apply the changes. The table has been created and is now available for use. Now, go to the model view and create a relationship between both tables using date field. Let's save the Power BI report on the hard drive. Now, open the report view to create some charts. First of all, we will create a title for our report, using text box, from insert tab. Change the font size to your liking, we will change it to 20. Now drag the profit field, from the list of fields, to an empty area on the report. This will create a column chart by default. Now drag the date field, from the calendar table, on the profit chart. Change the x-axis values, from date hierarchy, to date. Change the chart type, from column chart to a line chart. Reposition the chart to make space for other charts. Now, drag the profit field from financials table on empty area to create a new chart. Drag the country field, from the financials table, as well. Change the chart type, to a map, from visualization. Rename the sum of product field, to product. Rename the sum of profit field, to profit.
reposition the profit by country map chart to place another chart below. To create a sales chart, drag the sales field, from financials table, to the empty area on the report. Now drag the product field, on the same chart. Also drag the segment field, on the existing sales chart. Rename the sum of sales field, to sales. You can also add a slicer to the report, to quickly filter the information. Let's add a date slicer to this report. Change the default view, to a list view. You can also use dates, from calendar table, instead of financials table. Dates in calendar table, are linked with the dates in financials table, in model view. You can keep, remove, or add again, the year, quarter, month and date hierarchy items, as per your requirements, from calendar. Let's keep year, quarter, and month, for quick filtering. We can change the theme, from view tab, to change the appearance of the report. There are many built-in themes, available in Power BI. Hovering the cursor over a theme, will tell you the name of that particular theme. Let's select executive theme for our report. You can reposition and rearrange the charts as you desire.
You can also sort, in ascending or descending order, any field within a chart. Please ask any question, or give your feedback in the comments section below.